In this video, I'm going to show how to connect rstudio.cloud and GitHub. The first step is to connect the repo we are interested in cloning with an rstudio.cloud project. For this, I'm going to choose the GitHub repo where you're reading this document from. I'm going to scroll up to show that this is, in fact, a GitHub repo, and I'm going to copy the address of it. Then I'm moving to rstudio.cloud. I'm going to log in with this particular Gmail account and create a new project from Git repo and paste the link. This is going to take a few seconds. In the meantime, I'm going back to my repo. I'm going to click here in clone or download and copy the address that you see here. Notice that what I'm reading here says clone with SSH key. The alternative to that is using HTTPs, but in this particular video, I'm going to show how to do it with an SSH key. So I'm going to click here and go back to our studio.cloud. My project is already here. And the first thing, thing I'm going to do is to go to the terminal to check what, what is the link that rstudio.cloud knows about my GitHub repo. So I'm going to type git remote, and this is going to let me view the link that it is using. Notice that this link starts with an HTTPS address, right? And if you remember, the one that we want to use is not the one that uses HTTPS, which is this one, the one that you saw before, but the one that uses a SSH key, right? This is the one that we copy. So we're going to change that here. And to do that, we're going to, to remove first the um, remote origin, the remote is called origin here, that has is associated with this particular address. So we're going to type git remote remove origin. I'm going to type again the remote view to see that there is, to confirm that there is no um, link associated to it now because we have just removed it. And now I'm going to add the new address. git remote add origin. I'm going to call it again origin. And I'm going to paste the address that we copied from um, from that green bottom before. To paste on the console, it is a little tricky. We press Shift and Insert and hit Enter. So now, if we view the remote, we can see that it's the, the correct address. The next thing is to go to Tools, Global Options, Git, and create an, um, a key. I don't need any of the options shown here, so I'm going to just hit Create, Close, and now View the key. Here I'm going to copy what I see here, and Close, and OK. Now we go to GitHub again, and in my settings, I go to SSH key, SSH, and create a new key. I'm going to type the name for it, just to remember that I need to delete this because it's just a demo, I'm going to type to delete. And here I'm going to paste the key that we copied before and add it. Here I'm prompted to provide my um, credentials. Confirm the password and the new key has been added. So now I go back to rstudio.cloud and I should be ready to start um, pulling and pushing to that uh, repo. So I'm going to create a new file just to see. Notice first that here I have the key tab, right? And there is no, no changes here so far. I'm going to create a new R script. Type a the line. Save it as to the lead, dot r. Now we have my new file here, and we can see that there is a change. I'm going to commit that change to the file. And 
and now Git is asking me who I am, basically. Uh, it wants to know what is my user email and my user name. So I'm going to copy this from here and I'm going to provide those. So here in the terminal I'm going to paste with uh, shift insert the line that I copied from before and I'm going to just change this to my real user email and now we were also asked to provide the user name so that was the email and this is the user name with that I'm going to go back to commit type again a silly file and close so with that I should be able to pull and push directly um, but notice that we don't have available the pull and push bottoms and that is because I haven't yet created a permanent link between um, this project and my my remote connection for that I'm going to type here on the terminal git push who the, the option you creates that uh, permanent link that we're interested in creating and the link is between uh, the remote origin and the branch master I'm asking I'm being asked to um, confirm if it's okay to use the SSH key that we um, gave before and the answer is going to be yes and this is being um, this change is being uh, pushed so with that I should be able to refresh here and see those bottoms that I, I'm interested in having to so I can pull directly without being uh, asked too many questions let's do it again and there we go and if I add a new change here let's say new change in, in this file and save it I should be able to see that change here on the git tab and I can now commit it with a new CD message in this case and be able to pull and push now without being asked for my username uh, or password so that is exactly what we wanted to do so just to wrap up what we did is to connect rstudio.cloud with a github repo uh, using an SSH key which is great so that we don't need to provide our uh, username and e an email every time we want to uh, push or pull uh, a change.